certified by OSI or somebody that certifies these as being and safe to use. So we wanted to be able to give one to every student at the school as well as the staff, support people, whoever would be at the school at that point in time. Because this is actually going to be going on when they are released from school. And I know there's a little discussion going on whether this remains a regular school day, maybe an E-day. And that decision, it was just in discussion today. We just kind of threw that out. So I don't know that that's even a possibility. But it would be very dangerous for it. I think the younger the child, the more dangerous it will be because the less they're going to understand right. about the how dangerous. And oh, I can just sneak a peek. These are only good to look at for three minutes. And then you need to look away, even with the glasses. So I mean, it is considered a very possible. So our cost for this is $320. And so I, for various reasons, I haven't gotten out to other groups. I'm going to go to Lions Group. I'm going to go to our friends group and probably the old Gold Club and the town to see if they will help us with the expenses. Like I say, the expenses ended up being about $320. And we bought them off of Amazon. Yes. Yeah. This could go on too. I mean, you have yes, to that would give it to all this, the kids at school. So, what kind of expenses this stuff that you have? In? Well, we haven't really, I suppose, ink. And I haven't really, I didn't figure that into the expense. And I don't know whether we're going to print them or if the school's going to print them, somebody will print them so that the kids get those and the parents will have that. Um, and if they decide to do an E day and not have actually an in session school, we still want them to go home with the kids so that they have that. And then we're going to put a program on on uh, August 15th at the library. We have a, the president of the Warsaw 
Astronomical Society, and he's going to come and we'll speak to the issue of what it is. And people who attend that at the library will get a pair of glasses. And then we might have two to 250 pairs, I think, not spoken for, and then our patrons. We may sell those for either 50 cents or a dollar, and that would help us cover some expenses. So if people want, are willing and can throw in $50, that would be helpful. If, but it's, it's a community event. That's the only reason I really came to the council is that it is for a community event. So if that- when will, they be, when will they be handed out on Friday? I don't, <coughs> the thing of it is they should not get scratched or beat up or played with. Right. So we'd like to pack it in for each teacher. It depends on what happens as far as- The E-Day? Yeah, the E-Day or if it's gonna be a regular school day. If it's a regular school day, it'll probably be that day. That day. But it's a big issue with that as a parent to have access to that pamphlet. Well, we could send that out even on okay. okay. Friday. Okay. Okay. That, you know, we haven't I'm talked in detail. Two principals for me. Is that it then? Yes, but I did want to compliment Jamie wherever he is. He's worked very diligently trying to figure out why our megawatts are. What are we in megawatts? You're not a megawatt yet. Yeah, <laughs> For some reason, our electric bill has gone crazy, and we can't figure out why, but we're working on it. Maybe it's the kids outside using this free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wishful thinking. But <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'd like to make a motion that the uh, town give the Argus Library a total of $320 to cover the cost of all of this. Second. Got a motion and a second to cover Thank the cost of all this for the three for the solar viewing yeah. glasses. Yeah. The solar eclipse viewing glasses. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you very generously. I'll see if you get extra money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone else to do that. <laughs> to maybe to, to put on the electric bill. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, any other citizens input? Yes, Mark. Uh, several things. Number one, I think to help with the paper, uh, when the citizens get input, they should probably state their name. Okay. That would be helpful. We do that in most consoles, so I think that would be helpful. Mark on board. Uh, first thing, uh, my wife's birthday is today. Suzanne on board is. <laughs> are you younger? Are you? Are you younger? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! She's two years younger than I am. That helps. It. <laughs> okay, uh, council members. On the 16th, we have a economic development retreat at 1:30 at Swan Lake. All elected officials in the county are invited to this. So anyone that can make that, fine. The last thing is we had a police uh, commission meeting. We talked, one of the things we talked about was code enforcement. And uh, I didn't bring this up in the meeting, Dustin, but I think one of the things the council needs to consider is upping the amount we pay for code enforcement. Uh, we pay, council pays <coughs> police department $5,000 a year for code enforcement. We started that in 2007, and it's never been changed. So that's 10 years, and it's never been increased. Uh, the, the one thing that I think has been increased is the amount of code enforcement needed. Uh, so I would recommend the council take under consideration, maybe talking to Corey or, or uh, police commission or something about maybe increasing uh, what we're paying for code enforcement. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. <clears throat> Any more citizens in time? We're going to move on. More business, attorney report. You guys will keep it short and sweet tonight. Um, one, one thing to tell you on the 405 South Michigan Street, that letter went out just yesterday. Um, and basically just kind of provided a highlight of, of the things that Chuck had in his report that he uh, was here for last time. Told uh, Randy and Cindy Drudge are the property owners and uh, asked that they get in, in touch with Chuck DeWitt. Um, I'll obviously keep this on my radar. I'll let you know 
at the next meeting whether or not there's been any contact uh, if I've heard from Chuck but I guess I wouldn't let it go past the first meeting in September before we decide what steps we're going to take next um, I think 30 days is pretty appropriate to allow them some time to get in touch with Chuck and, and decide what they want to do with anything but let me know that the letter's been sent and I'll keep this on the radar and keep you updated on, on that uh, Jamie I saw somebody down there today had a vest on and everything and they were do, do you know anything about no okay so do you know anything about either Derek I don't and I doubt that my letter would have reached them yeah the day well, Nip Nip was going around town checking for gas. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's who it was. It was just somebody, and they were on that property. And I just, I didn't know Chuck had had somebody down there checking things out or what. I, I don't know that Chuck had. I, I don't know anything about. Okay, him. okay. That's all I have. Oh. Wow. I move to accept the attorney's report. Second. I get a motion and a second to accept the attorney report. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Board openings. It's not changed. We have Marshall County Tourism and we have a plan commission. If you're interested, submit a letter of interest to the single lady clerk treasurer. Other old business, utility superintendent. I move that we make Jamie the utility superintendent at the appropriate rate and include the overtime. I second. Got a motion and a second to make Jamie the utility superintendent at the appropriate rate, including the overtime. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, uh, we, next up, <coughs> stop it, you, it, you just don't have to do it, Jamie, right? No. Okay, next up is uh, the assistant I, utility superintendent. I make a motion that we uh, appoint Doug Middleton as assistant superintendent and uh, the pay would be according to the town uh, pay ordinances. I second. A motion and a second to appoint Doug Middleton to assistant superintendent, and his pay would be according to the town uh, salary ordinances. Any further discussion? You won't accept that, Doug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I've been screwed up pretty good. So. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> Next up is new lineman. Lineman. I make a motion to let Jamie hire a new lineman. I'll second that. A motion and a second to let Jamie hire a new lineman. Any further discussion? Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Any other old business? Now we're going to new business. Community Center Fairgrounds. Suzanne's Rob Herford, who is president of the Fair, Fair Board, contacted me last week. They are applying for a grant through Okra for a community center at the fairgrounds. And he was wanting the town's support. They would like a letter. So I have a letter prepared for the council members if they choose to sign it. It just says, as town council members of Argus, we would like to express our support for a community center at the Marshall County Fairgrounds located in Argus. We feel this would be an asset to the community as well as to the fair. Many within our community have expressed a wish for such a facility, so we are excited for this possibility. We feel such a facility would be well used by Argus and the surrounding communities. If there's any way in which you may help to facilitate this project, please let us know. Sincerely, town council members. They are applying for a grant and would like our support. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Do, need a motion? do we need a motion? No, I don't think we do. It says on letter. I make a motion. It's just mm -hmm. never done. Yeah, we're just signing it. We're just signing it. Just okay. sign it. She's got it already. You've got a form. 
sign these individually or, or no. you just want to sign one? We have one letter we have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Goofy questions. Thank you, Susan. Goofy questions. If we decide to go, is this putting us on any liability with open as a grant? I don't see how it would. Okay. Because I know we can, we're, we're only allowed about one open grant at a time. I mean, like the town would go for something. I don't want to put this as a support. It's, yeah, the town's not applying for the grant. Okay. We're just, just supporting it. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm just saying we're supporting it. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next up on new business is engineering for the uh, <clears throat> shovel. Jim, you, you want to get in on this? Uh, it, it's for the engineering for the uh, water and sewer out front of the shell building. So. Up to that. Yeah. I'll move to go ahead and let Jamie start the process of the engineering. Right. Get an engineering company to come in. I uh, second. A motion is second to allow Jamie to start the process, get an engineering company to come in for the uh, shoveling. It'll be for the utilities for the shoveling. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Any other new business? Next up, claims 858 through 912. The total docket for August 2nd is $351,409.80. The top five claims are as follows. Number one is IMPA at $182,236.68. Number two is payroll number 15 at $35,928.25. Number three is Capstone Insurance at $18,406. Number four is Anthem at $16,825.12. And number five is Republic Services at $12,113.44. For a total of $265,509.49, which represents 76% of the total docket. Make a motion to accept the turn it Yeah, it doesn't work. If you turn it, it keeps turning. Yeah, it's like just you have to open it in a second document and then it'll come straight up. I just say problems, school, school dockets. You gotta be enjoying it. Don't we look like them little bobbleheads? You do. <laughs> 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 We got a motion. Did I hear a second? Second. <laughs> got a motion and a second to accept the claims. 858 through 912. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.